surprise, Beach. But you thought you'd seen the last of me. I was gonna say it's funnier if you know my last name is Beach, but I don't really think it's all that funny at all anymore. What's up, nerds? And I do mean nerds because today I have a historic nonfiction for you to try to contain your excitement. I like history just a little bit. Today, or I was seeing Ten Adams shirt. And they asked about it, and I said, yeah, I kind of like history just a little bit. Kind of. Sometimes it's like a little hobby of mine, and I enjoy revolutions even more. Okay, I guess I have to drop the new segue because I can't find my degree. It's a his it's, it, I have a history degree, and it was going to be like a thing. I can't find it. Is that bad? Should I find that? Yikes. So you're just going to have to take my word for it that I have a history degree. Anyway, my mom's friend bullied me into making more videos, so this one's for you, Judy. Today we are making Russian tea cookies from Helen Rappaport's Race to Save the Romanovs. Are these cookies really in the book? These cookies don't come, like, directly from the book, but it was either these cookies, stroganoff, or the inedible porridge that the family eats in Yekaterinburg, so you're welcome. Are these cookies even Russian? They're not not Russian. After some research, it seems like every country, culture, region has their own spin on this recipe. So this is like the Russian version of this cookie. Not using it right, Joe. <laughs> but listen, I figured if the 20th Century Fox can make an animated musical movie about Anastasia and then they can turn that into a hit Broadway musical, then like I can make Russian tea cookies, right? You guys are gonna let that slide? Can you at least show us something else that's only Russian in name but that might make this experience a little bit more tolerable? Yes, I thought you would never ask. Finally, something I'm very confident and good at is making a white Russian, which again is only Russian because there's vodka in it, which seems like a stereotype, but here we are. But first, before we make a white Russian, I'm gonna call the newest 21 year old in this house to come help me. Yeah. You wanna come make a white Russian? Um, I think I'm going to meet mom at Costco to look at fridges and other stuff for school. This is a book about family, damn it, and mine just let me down. <laughs> oh god, you're wearing a oh a tank top like that? I don't know if you've got a camera. What do you think I do here? A beach, if I've ever seen one. First of all, happy belated birthday. <laughs> How old did you turn? 27. 21. I don't like this. Dave, what did you tell me that uh, you wanted for your birthday? Uh, uh, to everyone to like, subscribe, and comment to this YouTube channel. Yeah, all comment to this YouTube channel. Do you know how to make a white rush or do you want me to do it? Yeah, I saw you. What, thirds? Thirds? No, I can do it. Ready? So it's equal parts Kahlua, vodka, and then like heavy whipping cream, half and half, milk, coffee creamer, almond milk, whatever whatever kind of creamy-ish dairy product you want. So this is how David's making his. No, go for it. Yeah, I'm gonna be a little bit more precise and do one shot of each because it's equal thirds. Cheers. A plus. And now that you have your drink, I'll show you how to make some Russian tea cookies. You know what goes really good with a white Russian is a Russian tea cookie. 
I don't know if it's that like every recipe gets better and better or that I am drinking. It's good. So there you go. Four kind of Russian things makes one really good book about Russia. I made a puppy safe version for Molly, so I'm gonna rush on over there to give it to her. Please subscribe. Oh, now, now I really look like a suburban mom who cut up orange slices and has Capri Sun in the cooler ready to go on a hike. But like, like a, like a hike, like, you know, like to the local, like, um, local, like, forest preserves. And I'm like, get in the van. You each get to call one friend a day with us. <laughs> now that you got your drink, if you're of age, I won the Too Good for Drugs contest in fifth grade, so don't even try and think about sneaking this past me. What's up, nerds? And I do mean nerds because this is my first, oh, it's not my first nonfiction book. Well, my hair is wet and I just put a hat on, so I feel like I've committed to it now. Life's a beach and isn't it grand? And it goes really good with a white Russian. A white, a white Russian? I swear this is my first one.